Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the B&Q Distribution Centre. Not quite. So we picked up today some wall cabinets for the kitchen area to tidy it up a little bit. Today being Sunday and I think we're approaching 2, 2.30 in the afternoon. So I've just been across to our local trade point and picked up these cabinets and this is the reason why I've liked the cabinets so all this stuff on the side here well it gets dust on it and it's kind of a chore every week cleaning it down wouldn't it be better if it was all put in a cupboard now I was contemplating making them out of plywood but listen to this a sheet of ply is around 18 18 mil sheet of ply is around I think 33 36 quid something along those lines that cabinet there was 22 the doors are like I don't know 18 quid each hinges a fiver so if you add in all of my labor and finishing the plywood and screwing it all together and cutting it and buying it god you I can't make these for this kind of money so, yeah, we're going to use B&Q's special prefabricated chipboard cabinets. So, I'm going to start assembling these today. Uh, I may as well. I'm just sat at home. I'm bored on my own. There's nobody there. Gemma's gone to do some shopping for some parents. And uh, another thing, which I thought I'd uh, talk about briefly... Well, it's just caught my eye. I've been chipping away at the floor because I want to try and resin this floor. And somebody's put some self-leveling compound on it. And the trouble is, it never sticks properly. So I've been kind of just hitting it with a hammer. I didn't get any of that in frame, did I? So if I hit it, See, it just it just cracks off so I've been taking the highest spots off because it's always been kind of high around here and it makes it awkward to sweep it just seems to be this area here's a big piece look look at all that and you see all that just shooting off wow so Sorry for the shaky camera work there, folks, but it gives you an idea, doesn't it? Oh, I want to get all that off. And the reason I know that it's a pain in the ass with that self-leveling compound was because in the past I tried to do it out here to get a nice level floor for painting. And then what happened was all the self-leveling came up and then the paint came up. So we're going to knock all this back. We're going to flatten it as best we can. We're going to try and resin it. And in order to flatten the high spots on that particular stuff, I have got a grinder attachment, which is probably going to destroy the grinder. But it's basically a badass grinding wheel and a vacuum attachment to suck out all the dust. Check it out. Screwfix special. So hopefully we can use this to level the floor out there. And put some proper epoxy uh, floor sealant down, which will last hopefully for years and years. Chemical resistant stuff, maybe. We'll see. Anyway, let's assemble some cabinets. That's enough waffle for now. Right. The time is now 4.21. I've given up. I've got one cupboard up. What's done my head in is... Uh, I managed to cover the screws for these brackets with the hygienic cladding like a plat. Oops. But I've got one up and serves its purpose perfectly. I'll just shut that. Oh god, I should have got some soft clothes in just shouldn't I? But I want to add all the others now all the way around here. And that means I'm gonna have to uh well, I could do with Gemma's help, actually. She's going to be in work with me tomorrow. So, I've got some holes to drill up there. 
and I think instead of clearing all this off I want to get a cupboard up there first and then I can put half of that in that cupboard then add the next cupboard in that cupboard and so on until it's all gone so what I'd like Gemma to do is hold the vacuum cleaner underneath the drill while I do that but it is Sunday and it is half past four, it's 4 20 and uh, I think it's time I went home and had some R&R &R after the busy week that we've had because we're going to have another busy week this week I'm sure so at some point we're going to be doing the roof so we've got roof sheets coming in and I've said that I'll do it so that's good news that's excellent news I've been up and measured everything so we're waiting on that coming That'll be a really big job. We're just going to overclad the asbestos sheeting or the cement lux sheeting, whatever they call it. Uh, so I, I, as soon as that stuff arrives, it's going to be big sheets of steel, like 4.2 metres long. 4.8, I think they were on that side. And as many of them as there are roof sheets, 17, 18, 20 on each side, I'm not sure. So I could do with hitting all that up in a week when... We're not brewing and we're not opening tanks or casking because inevitably stuff's going to fall off the roof and we're going to have to have a clean up afterwards as well. And then, as I mentioned earlier, I've got the floor to work on and then we are going to be working towards opening the pub. We have, as of today, 38 days to go. If you'd like to see a countdown, then why don't you run over to Chris Ashley's channel. He's going through pretty much the same thing that we are with his pub and he's counting down the days to opening and he's got a little vlog going there. It's really quite interesting to see uh, someone go through the same thing from a different perspective. So I'd recommend popping over to his channel and uh, just tell him I sent you. So there we go. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to sign off and go home and then we should be prepped and ready to come in tomorrow get rid of all this junk and get the rest of those cabinets on the wall we'll see you for that